Hello and welcome to PN Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will learn the difference between DDL and DML. That is the difference between data definition language and data manipulation language. Let's get started. Before we go ahead, check out this SQL statement and in the comments, let me know if it's a DDL or DML SQL statement. All right, first of all, let's understand what are DDL SQL statements or data definition language SQL statements. The SQL statements used to create, modify and delete database structures like tables, indexes and views are known as DDL or data definition language. The examples are create, alter and drop SQL commands. And what are DML SQL statements or data manipulation language SQL statements? The SQL commands which are used to insert, update and delete data within a database are known as data manipulation language. The examples are insert, select, update, delete and truncate. Based on the actions, the DDL SQL statements are as follows. Create. The create DDL statement is used to create databases and tables. The alter DDL statement is used to alter databases and tables. And the drop SQL statement is used to delete or drop databases and tables. Similarly, based on the actions, the DML SQL statements are as follow. The insert statement is used to add data rows in a MySQL table. The select statement is used to get the data rows from a MySQL table. The update statement updates the data rows. And delete SQL statement is used to remove or delete data rows from a MySQL table. The merge DML statement combines the separate insert, update and delete statements into a single SQL query. The truncate SQL command deletes all rows of a table without causing a triggered action. The call statement is used to invoke or call a stored procedure in a database. Now let's understand the difference between DDL and DML SQL statements. DDL is used to define database objects like tables, indexes, views, etc. While DML is used to manipulate data within the database. DDL is used to change the database structure while DML is used to change the data only. DDL statements are not transactional, meaning they cannot be rolled back, while DML statements are transactional, means it can be rolled back if required. DDL is executed by database administrator, while DML is executed by database developers, application developers or end users. DDL are typically used during the beginning phase of development like database design while DML are used during normal operation of databases. The DDL examples are create, alter and drop while the DML examples are select, insert, update and delete. Now let's understand the benefits of DDL and DML SQL statements. DDL gives the ability to define, create or modify database objects. DML allows data manipulation in a database. DDL and DML SQL statements are important to ensure data integrity in the database. DDL and DML gives a way to access and control the database structure and the data. DDL and DML commands allow the users to interact and manage the databases. Let's practically execute some DDL and DML SQL statements. I have logged in to my MySQL database server. I will create a new school database using create database school then to create a new database table inside school database i will select the school database using use school and then create a new students table using i will paste a create table sql statement here press enter we can confirm the newly created database table using show tables and we can see the newly created students table. We can also see the students table structure using describe students. We can see this table has five columns. Let's create a new table with only one column. I will paste the SQL statement. Press enter. We can confirm the new students two table created using show tables. And we can confirm the newly created table structure using describe students2. The students2 table has only one column. Now let's alter the table and add 
new column named first name this time i will paste the alter table statement like alter table students to add first name varchar 40 not null press enter we can confirm the newly added column using describe students to and we can see the first name column has been added to the students to table now let's delete the students to table using drop table students to semicolon press enter we can confirm the table has been removed using show tables the students to table is gone in all the example sql statements we just learned we used create alter and drop statements using these statements we just created modified or deleted the database structure but we didn't added or modified the data so all the sql statements we just saw are ddl or data definition language sql statements let's now learn some dml or data modification language sql statements i will add some data rows in our previously created students table using insert into students values and two data rows press enter we can confirm if the data rows were added successfully using select star from students press enter we can see the two data rows we can also update existing data rows using i will paste the sql statement update students set age equal to 5 where id equal to 2 this data row we going to update it to age 5 press enter confirm the changes using select star from students the data row with id 2 has been updated finally we can delete a data row using delete from students where id equal to 1 we going to delete this data row press enter we can confirm if the data row was deleted using select star from students the first data row has been removed successfully here we saw select insert update and delete sql statements all these sql statements were used to create view modify or delete the data rows so these are dml sql statements in the beginning of this video i asked you a question check out the sql statement and in the comments let me know if it's a ddl or dml sql statement pause the video and quickly in the comments post your answer i hope now you can answer this question the answer to this question is it's a dml sql statement we are not modifying the database structure here we are just adding a data row in our school database so this sql statement is a dml sql statement i hope you guessed it right So in this video tutorial we learned what DDL and DML are that is what is data definition language and what is data manipulation language we saw the types of DDL and DML SQL statements we learned the benefits of DDL and DML and finally we learned the difference between the DDL and DML i hope this video tutorial was easy to understand if this tutorial was helpful to you like the video and subscribe to my channel see you in the next tutorial